Okay, let, let, let us continue because time is short. Uh, I still have lots of material to present, and uh, I'm a bit afraid of not 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 being able to fully finalize. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so uh, where uh, we stopped before the coffee break was the uh, human cognitive reliability curves, and and these curves are. Uh, very uh, often used for uh, quantifying the uh, human error probabilities for uh, uh, specific uh, human errors. There is another curve uh, which is uh, from the OSEP uh, methodology. OSEP is the uh, Accident Sequence Evaluation Program. Uh, this is the abbreviation. And uh, it was produced by uh, uh, Dr. Alan Swain. Does anybody know who Alan Swain is? No? Didn't hear about it? Him? OK. So uh, he, is, he is the, I would say, he is the father of the human reliability analysis for uh, uh, the, uh, the probabilistic shift analysis. Uh, before the uh, Wash 1400 study in the US in, in uh, 75, he worked uh, for the U.S. Navy. He's a, uh, actually he's a psychologist, I believe, and and uh, uh, he made awful lot of uh, 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 investigations of the human behavior on on the uh, 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 U.S. Navy submarines. So uh, to to improve the uh, so-called performance shaping factors. So. All his knowledge is coming from, from uh, that uh, uh, investigations, and he thought that uh, uh, once in the army, in a, in a disciplinary environment, uh, 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 something is, is uh, uh, describing the uh, human behavior, then similarly in a nuclear power plant where he, uh, his, in his opinion, uh, the the environment is at least as, that, as, as, as disciplinary as in the army. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, the same uh, experiment experience can be used. Now, uh, uh, he worked a long time on the uh, uh, nuclear power plant uh, 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 operator's uh, reliability. And he has a, a book, about 600 pages, uh, that that uh, 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 thick, thick book uh, describing all kind of uh, uh, human reliability assessment methods, and uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, this book is uh, uh, I well I don't know if it is available on the on the net or not. I don't know. If you, if somebody is interested. Uh, I can uh, uh, give a PDF copy, but it is it is something like uh, 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 thirty something megabytes because uh, uh, all all scanned. Uh, uh, this is an old book, and since then, uh, in many countries, in most of the uh, probabilistic safety studies, uh, this book is used as a reference. Full stop. All the all the others are uh, almost neglected, and. Uh, the, uh, his book uh, on uh, uh, the different uh, uh, human reliability assessment methods uh, are uh, in place in all uh, 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 probabilistic safety studies. Now, what you can see here, uh, according to his uh, 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 experience, uh, the probability of uh, of a, of a failure uh, of a post-accident human interaction uh, before uh, ten, 10 minutes, in, in the 10 minutes frame uh, after the accident, uh, the upper bound uh, 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 value should be uh, taken as equal to 1. So we have to assume that within 10 minutes, the operator cannot do a right decision. Okay. Though it is not true, 
the the median or or the uh, best estimate uh, uh, probability is lower than uh, one definitely, but in the at the moment of uh, of the uh, occurrence, of course uh, nobody knows what uh, what is what is going on. Uh, some some time is needed to, to to figure out what what has been uh, what has uh, uh, been uh, uh, occurring. Now. There is an interesting uh, 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 behavior of this curve. As you can see here, uh, there is a, a fast uh, decreasing uh, probability between, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 20 minutes and, and uh, 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 30 minutes. So that the right uh, duration for making the right decision is about uh, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, after that, uh, it, uh, the decreasing is, is slowing down. It, it, it is explained by, by the fact that uh, if the operator has a lot of time, he becomes lazy, and 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 okay, I, I still have, I still have, and then 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 comes the comes the end of the available time. Oops, I, I still have to do that, and and then it it is already uh, a stressing situation. So. Uh, again, uh, uh, his, uh, his, his methods are uh, somewhat modeling the uh, real behavior of, 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 of an average American uh, 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 operator or an average American uh, operator on the uh, uh, nuclear submarine uh, in the Army. And, and this uh, 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 experience is, is used also uh, in the nuclear power plant. Now, how it is applied to, to other countries, that's a different question. Because in, in other countries, uh, it may happen that uh, 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 with that fast education or fast training, uh, like in the submarine, uh, uh, for the soldiers in the submarine, or in, in some cases uh, for the uh, American operators, where uh, the, uh, uh, the training for being a reactor operator concentrates mostly on, on how to follow the procedures. It is much shorter than, than to uh, uh, put there uh, some engineer who, who has a, 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 a master's degree in nuclear uh, uh, engineering. So that's a, a totally, totally different uh, uh, thing. Now, uh, nevertheless, we are using these uh, uh, correlations for uh, uh, modeling the uh, human errors. Now, here, here the, there is an example action with several steps and uh, lengthy or local actuations. So uh, those are the time available for, for, for the decision and for uh, the uh, total uh, time available for uh, performing the operator. And, and there, are, uh, well, has, there, there is some, some part for the local uh, manual actions. So uh, these time points are determined by uh, performing uh, deterministic simulations of the process. So after the uh, uh, initiating event, we start analyzing what is the available time for the first, uh, 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 well, after the initiating event uh, and, and the alarm, uh, we will have uh, some time to perform the action. If this time expires, then uh, the process goes to uh, uh, somewhere else. Therefore, uh, uh, that time point between the alarm and between uh, the, this uh, uh, defined time point uh, will determine for me the time window which is available for the operator to, to do the decision and uh, uh, also to uh, 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 initiate uh, some of the local uh, actions. And, and so on and so on. If it is successful, then we go further, uh, uh, define the other time point, and, 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 and uh, 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 somehow we are uh, getting to the full process. Yes? No, this is a okay. This is a requirement for the new nuclear power plants, and in the old nuclear power plants, it was not applied for uh, 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 consistently. 
So in, in many cases, uh, uh, this uh, 30 minutes is not applied. So that, uh, that, that's not, uh, uh, how to say, uh, perfectly true that uh, 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 this rule is applied in everywhere. Okay? So you can uh, have uh, needed or required uh, human interaction uh, uh, in within the uh, first 30 minutes in the case if uh, it is feasible to perform it. If, uh, if it is clear that uh, the operator knows uh, and, and uh, uh, there is an easy access to the uh, procedure and so on and so on. So uh, in some specific cases, uh, this uh, 30 minutes is uh, uh, not applicable. Okay. Okay, just to, to uh, go and, I mean, to, to accelerate because I want to, to, to come to, to the human factors engineering as well, <laughs> as, as this is the topic of the second presentation. So uh, let's see uh, what are the dependence levels. Now, what is dependence? First of all, uh, let me uh, 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 talk about uh, the dependencies. Dependence uh, of a human action from something else uh, will determine uh, the uh, uh, will modify the probability. So, if uh, the initiating event uh, is such uh, that uh, can be confused with, with something else, then uh, the probability of uh, doing the right action or probability of uh, uh, mistaking the, the right action will be higher than in the case when it is uh, 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 clear uh, and, and uh, only, only one initiating event uh, uh, can be uh, diagnosed. So there is a dependence of the uh, human uh, uh, action probability from the initiating event. Then uh, there is an action uh, uh, one after the other. Uh, there is an action uh, uh, after a successful or a failure uh, uh, action, a action failure. Uh, there is another uh, 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 human action. Then there is a dependence between the two uh, human actions. <coughs> so if uh, if the human actions are, uh, let's say, close to uh, each other in time, then the failure of uh, the first uh, uh, human action will be a condition uh, uh, to the second action. Therefore, uh, for the second action, we already assume some dependence. So if, if he failed uh, uh, at the first uh, moment, then with a high probability he will fail the second uh, moment. So uh, if the, uh, well, uh, the time and the time part, how it is dependent from the time available. Usually what we say uh, uh, in the first uh, uh, moment, the first uh, uh, minute, we, we say that uh, uh, no way to uh, perform good diagnosis. Okay? Uh, if, it is, uh, uh, if we have uh, one uh, minute, about one minute, and we have several uh, people like uh, shift supervisor and uh, reactor operator, in one minute, there, must, there can be some uh, success, but uh, the uh, uh, dependence uh, with the reactor operator will be very high. So uh, the shift supervisor will believe to the uh, 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 reactor operator. Therefore, they are making the same uh, uh, mistake. Okay? Uh, if it is uh, around five minutes, then we have one reactor operator and uh, experienced senior operator, then uh, there will be a high dependence uh, with the reactor operator uh, for the ship supervisor, uh, it will be a little bit different. It, it will be uh, low dependence or medium dependence with the others. So uh, it may happen that uh, 
uh, he may uh, uh, so his his thinking will be different from uh, uh, those who are uh, uh, watching the indications and and, and trying to find out what uh, happens. Therefore, uh, the dependence of his decision may be uh, uh, lower than. Uh, 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 in, in the case when uh, uh, there is only one minute. And if it is around five minutes uh, or 15 minutes, then uh, those uh, 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 dependencies are uh, getting lower and lower because we have more time. Uh, there is more time for considering uh, uh, independently or, or reconsidering the situation independently. Therefore, uh, this dependence uh, uh, will be lower. Now, uh, the coupling mechanism of, of uh, uh, human dependence is why it is important. Because in the model, we'll have at some place uh, this human action, or the, this, uh, the, the failure of this human action. And uh, on other place, we'll have uh, uh, the failure of the human action, uh, let's say, right after the other, uh, which, which, which had to be done, or, or some, something which uh, should be performed by the same operator. If it is the same person, then uh, definitely, if one fails, then the other will fail uh, with, with a very high probability. If they are different people, uh, then the dependence will depend on uh, where they are sitting. If they are sitting on the same, uh, in the same location in the control room, then definitely they will communicate with each other. Therefore, uh, this dependence will again uh, uh, be a, couple, a coupling mechanism. Uh, so this is the same crew, okay? The same procedure. I'm using the same procedure for, for this and for that. Uh, this will create a, a high dependence, okay? If, if, if it is the same procedure tab, then it, if it, it, it is even, even, even worse. So uh, I, I, I took a wrong procedure and uh, or wrong procedure step, and I'm taking uh, uh, the same uh, procedure step for the uh, per for performing the other action. This will definitely be uh, wrong if, uh, if if this was wrong. Okay. Then there are similar actions. Uh, the similar action uh, means switching uh, 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 a key or or switching a, uh, uh, or doing something similar. I have to switch on this pump, and, and I have to switch on this pump. So if, if, if these two are the same, if I'm uh, making a mistake with one, I uh, very likely will make a mistake with the other. And if they are close in time for the same operator. So uh, these are uh, what, what we were uh, uh, talking about as uh, human dependencies. Now, levels of dependencies. Uh, uh, this is how we uh, consider in the uh, analysis. So if there is a complete dependence, then uh, the, if action A fails, then action B will uh, fail for sure. Okay? Uh, there is a high dependency, which uh, uh, doesn't mean that uh, if uh, action A fails, then the other will fail, but uh, uh, B will fail with a high probability. So I cannot use the, uh, the same, uh, I mean, uh, assess probability uh, for action B, but I have to use a conditional probability given uh, action A fail, okay? And the conditional probability will depend on, on the level of uh, uh, dependencies. So if there is a high dependency, then the conditional probability will be high. If it is a moderate dependency, then uh, the uh, conditional probability will be lower than uh, in the case of high, and so on and so on. And then if we can uh, justify the zero dependency, then uh, uh, we uh, don't consider uh, this uh, conditional probability, but we will uh, uh, consider the uh, uh, independent uh, uh, human error probability, which is assessed uh, using the uh, human, error, uh, human error probability uh, 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 quantifying techniques. Now, uh, and, and the NUREG CR uh, 1278 is the document, what I was talking about. This is the famous uh, Swain handbook, 
a handbook of uh, human reliability. So you can search on the internet, or, or if you are interested, I can uh, uh, give it to you during the uh, lunch break or later today. Okay. Now, uh, why it is important uh, to to assume these uh, 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 dependencies? Because uh, in the safety analysis, safety uh, analysis, uh, whatever it is, uh, uh, it, it can be uh, deterministic or probabilistic. We are assuming some human actions. And in case we are assuming some uh, human uh, uh, error in the uh, analysis, then uh, the dependencies uh, will uh, define me whether in the next uh, human uh, action I have to assume or not. And usually the regulatory bodies, if I assume zero dependency, they will ask, why did you assume zero dependency? You have to justify. Because this is the most optimistic case. Uh, therefore, uh, you are not on a conservative side if you are uh, assuming zero uh, the dependence. That, 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 that means the uh, 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 regulator may ask the question, why uh, do you assume so? Okay. Now, uh, example of de dependence is to be uh, considered in the HRA between the pre-initiating event uh, human actions, as I told you, uh, uh, the same crew is going from one uh, train to the other. Uh, this is uh, dependent. So if I made a mistake here uh, uh, during the maintenance uh, uh, and go further to make uh, the maintenance on the uh, next train, I will uh, make the uh, same uh, uh, human error, uh, or I, I will make the same mistake uh, with a uh, uh, relatively uh, big probability. Yes? Uh, usually there is one operator. Yeah. Well, one operator, and then uh, he has a, a boss who is the shift supervisor. Okay? <coughs> but the, the, uh, if we have the shift supervisor, then uh, the, this uh, 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 applies. You see, shift supervisor is here. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, the shift supervisor is a, a kind of backup to, to, to the operator. He can uh, uh, override the decision of the uh, operator, and, and, and his decision will be applied. Yes, but uh, uh, if uh, there is a, a short time, definitely they will do the same mistake. So that's, this is this is what uh, what this table wants to talk about. Okay. So usually we have one operator, uh, one reactor operator, one turbine operator, one electrical operator, but uh, but uh, uh, the uh, 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 responsibility uh, for operating uh, one uh, uh, field is is is, is uh, uh, it remains on on one person. Yes. And the shift, of a shift supervisor uh, will have to, to uh, deal with everybody. Therefore, uh, his attention uh, may not be uh, uh, allocated to, to just one person. Therefore, uh, his task is more difficult. Okay. Now, uh, well, these are the uh, dependencies. Uh, I don't want to uh, uh, emphasize it. Uh, and then here comes the errors of commission. So this is omission is failure to perform uh, required actions. Uh, the commission is performance of inappropriate action that aggravate to a scenario. So I'm making the situation worse with, with, uh, with something. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, sleeps in advertent unintentional uh, aligned train A instead of train B. Yeah, OK. So, uh, or making a mistake, uh, inappropriate uh, decisions. Uh, the evidence uh, suggests slips are easier to recover, detect, and correct than the other. Mistake is, uh, is mistake. So uh, once I, I, I push the wrong button uh, to initiate a, a, a wrong train instead of my uh, new train, it is 
<coughs> it seems to be easier to, to understand that I made a mistake. Therefore, uh, it will uh, uh, be very likely possible to recover the situation uh, if, it is, uh, if I uh, realize that uh, I made a mistake in time. Okay? Then uh, uh, the, error, uh, the uh, error of commission modeling is still an issue to be resolved. As I told you, it is, it is so complex and uh, it can lead to, to several uh, different scenarios. So to, to model it, uh, it is very difficult. But we have to take into account uh, definitely in the safety assessment and uh, also uh, uh, when we are trying to define the human factor engineering tasks to lower the, pro uh, the, the possibility or to lower the probability of uh, the um, uh, errors of commissions. This is one of the ongoing developments, uh, development areas in HRA. Uh, uh, other ongoing uh, development areas are the analysis of decision uh, performance and data and quantification. Uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, the modeling of, uh, and, and analysis of the de decision performance is, is not finalized. So uh, we somewhat seem to understand uh, what is influencing the, uh, uh, the decision of the person. But uh, there are performance shaping factors, uh, uh, external and, and internal, uh, and also uh, the stress uh, uh, stress or uh, performance shaping factors, which are uh, definitely uh, uh, influencing uh, significantly the decision-making process. Therefore, uh, it is uh, still an issue uh, to be further developed. What uh, uh, we know now, uh, uh, what we know now is. Uh, what are those performance shaping factors which are influencing the decision-making uh, process. And knowing what are those uh, performance shaping factors, uh, we already can use this information for the uh, human error, uh, human factor engineering to lower uh, the influence of, 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 of these factors. The data and quantification proof data is a difficult issue. We try to, to collect uh, 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 the information for, well, we, we, I, I, uh, I was responsible at Pox uh, in, back in the late 80s to uh, establish a so-called uh, component reliability data collection system. And there was one uh, field in the uh, database that it was uh, the, the uh, uh, component uh, failure or unavailability was due to human error. And believe me, during the data collection process, we could never identify any uh, 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 component uh, failures due to human error. Everything was hidden, so it was it was something which which is uh, which we don't know, or or we we know that uh, uh, there's something rupture inside, but uh, no human error. So it is difficult. As soon as something comes to the human error, then uh, it leads to the question of the responsibility, and if it leads to the question of the responsibility, everybody is is, is protecting. No, 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 it is not mine. It is not mine. So it is very, very difficult to, uh, to define. However, it is clear that most of the uh, 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 equipment failures are due to human uh, uh, failures or human errors uh, uh, done during the maintenance. It is clear. Everybody knows it, but to identify it is almost impossible. So to collect data for human error well, good luck to uh, the person who wants to uh, try. I'm, I'm, I, I gave up, let me say so. I gave up uh, and, and uh, 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 turned to, to, to something else. Uh, later, the data collection continued by, by, by different people, and, and uh, they, they had a similar uh, experience. So this is difficult. And there are some 
computer-based displays, uh, soft interfaces, which are uh, uh, influencing now. So there are nice uh, screens uh, in the modern uh, uh, control rooms, uh, in, even in the older control rooms, which were uh, 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 refurbished or re, uh, uh, reconstructed. And uh, 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 Alec can tell uh, uh, how useful uh, uh, these uh, new uh, uh, computer-based syst uh, uh, systems can be. How, uh, but they, they will also uh, bring their own risk, which is uh, difficult to uh, assess. And there are some organizational factors also, which has to be, how to say, uh, introduced in this uh, analysis. Uh, though it is very difficult to uh, assess, therefore, uh, the development on uh, uh, assessing the organizational factors, uh, how they are uh, influencing the uh, human performance, is a difficult issue. Again, why it is so? Because you are attacking, seemingly you are attacking uh, when analyzing the organizational factors, the management. And to attack the management uh, uh, with, a, with an assessment is also very dangerous. So uh, you can end up with, with an uh, unsuccessful project if you, if you start to uh, analyze it. So it is difficult. It is also an area where uh, lots of development is needed. OK, so this was the uh, uh, human reliability analysis. And I guess. Uh, uh, it was not a complete presentation of the human reliability analysis. I tried to uh, condense uh, uh, this presentation only to support the next presentation uh, where uh, we are talking about the, uh, uh, what is this, the uh, human factors and human factors engineering. Okay. Do you have any questions to the human reliability analysis? Of course, uh, there are some uh, areas which are very interesting. Uh, how incorporate to the PSA, and then and, and what uh, what are the influence in the models, and so on and so on. But uh, we we don't want to to, to go uh, uh, in these details. Sorry. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, I understand you. Yes, yes, I understand you. Uh, 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 the story is more difficult than that. So uh, the database is handled by the operator. Okay, so uh, mostly uh, the uh, electronic uh, uh, log books and and uh, uh, I mean the uh, flow of the uh, 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 the processes during the shift uh, are. Uh, to be uh, uh, entered by the operators. Therefore, they will, uh, the, the information uh, in the database will be dependent on the operator itself who made the mistake possibly. So it is, it is very difficult and uh, 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 very detailed analysis is needed of the database and, and, and the data to identify where are the possible uh, 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 human errors uh, in the system? Yeah. 
Okay, 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 okay. Just wait a second. So, uh, first of all, uh, what uh, you are talking about is normal operation. When a normal operation, and, and uh, hopefully in normal operation, uh, no initiating events are occurring. <coughs> in most of the cases, uh, uh, the shift is, uh, is, is going uh, a very, with a very boring uh, activity uh, because nothing is happening. Okay? So, uh, those uh, uh, human errors, uh, what uh, you are talking about, uh, can be measured uh, mostly in, during the uh, simulated training exercises. This is a better place to uh, record that. And sorry to forget about it, but I promise you to tell you. So I'm, 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 uh, it is the right time to, uh, to tell the story about uh, the, the Pox experiments. Uh, uh, back in uh, uh, the early 90, uh, 90s, uh, uh, there was a decision to re-evaluate the whole safety of the plant because uh, the uh, original uh, suppliers uh, of the plant or original vendor of the plant uh, become a bit farer. So uh, the Soviet Union collapsed. Uh, it, it, it was in Russia, partly uh, the other part in Ukraine, and so on and so on. So it was difficult to find the right uh, organization who can answer our questions. And the regulatory body uh, uh, required uh, to perform uh, the full uh, uh, the safety assessment of the plant uh, on, on our own. And it included the human reliability assessment as well. And the decision was to uh, apply such methodology which uses uh, experiments in the simulator, uh, in the simulator training uh, exercises. So we uh, designed uh, such scenarios which are outside the uh, design basis accidents or design basis accident with some equipment failure. And we predetermined those uh, human actions which will be needed uh, to cope with the uh, scenario. And then uh, one crew came and we asked them if uh, they uh, agree with video uh, uh, their actions. And also we measured uh, the time uh, required for the one hum uh, uh, human action. So uh, one scenario consisted of uh, four or five uh, human actions needed. And uh, all the 24 crew went through uh, five such scenarios. So altogether, we had something like 600 data points uh, 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 with required time uh, for the operator actions. Okay? And, and we could... Oops, Sorry, we could uh, build up similar curves, uh, what you could see the human uh, cognitive uh, uh, correlation or whatever it was uh, with, with these uh, three curves. And also uh, we interviewed after that uh, the instructor and interviewed the operators. And this interview uh, showed us uh, what was the reason of the delay for some operator or, or what was the uh, 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 cause of a very fast action. Because we realized that, of course, uh, two different crews doing the same uh, scenario, uh, they, their behavior was different. We could see that in one crew, there is a nice communication between uh, uh, the, uh, the crew members. Uh, in, in other crew, everybody is doing silently what, 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 what his task is. So uh, uh, we also had information on, on the performance shaping factors like this. Uh, from the interview, uh, we had answers like, I forget, I, 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 I don't remember, uh, I didn't remember at the beginning what uh, 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 operating instruction I have to uh, take. That's what, that, was, was, that, that was the cause. Or the other, the guy said, 
Oh, well, it, 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 was, it was yesterday uh, something similar. So I, I, I remembered what has happened. So uh, these are the things which we uh, collected and analyzed. And uh, out of it, we had uh, human error probabilities uh, for, uh, um, the, um, for many of the uh, human actions needed for the probabilistic safety analysis. We also had information uh, for uh, the uh, uh, control room reconstruction, uh, 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 arguments for the control room reconstruction, and also we uh, 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 identified uh, those weaknesses of the event-oriented procedures which were eliminated by the symptom-oriented procedures. Do you know what is the difference between event-oriented and symptom-oriented procedures? Yes? Of course you do, because, because <laughs> you, you developed them uh, uh, quite recently. So uh, I'm, I'm asking the others. So event-oriented procedure is when the operator has to find out what has happened, uh, let's say, uh, small loca in the primary circuit, and go and, and take the procedure which is called small loca in the primary circuit. And based on this, uh, uh, he has to go through all the uh, steps which is uh, written down there. The symptom-oriented procedure is when uh, the operator uh, uh, sees some uh, deviation from uh, the uh, normal operation and starts the process with, uh, with, the, with the deviation. If something uh, 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 parameter uh, is, is uh, decreasing uh, that fast, then uh, the procedure will uh, uh, tell uh, to which procedure you have to go. And then, uh, based on this procedure, uh, you are trying to keep the plant in a safe uh, uh, condition. All the rest is, uh, doesn't matter. So you don't need uh, to deal with the uh, 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 diagnosis. You don't need to uh, uh, deal with many things. So it is a more detailed uh, procedure than uh, the step-by-step uh, -step, uh, event-based event procedure. Now, after developing the uh, uh, symptom-based procedure, we repeated the, these uh, 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 experiments. And it appeared that uh, the plant become much safer, just because uh, uh, there were no, during these 600 uh, 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 points uh, which were needed, uh, regardless on event sequence or, or uh, event-oriented event or sim symptom-oriented procedure you have to do, uh, no mistakes were done by the operators. While in the other, we had some, some, some delays, uh, uh, which uh, caused, uh, uh, in some cases, problems uh, with the successful execution of the exercise. So this helped us uh, to uh, uh, understand how useful the, uh, I mean, I mean this, this demonstrated the usefulness of, uh, of the uh, 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 symptom-oriented procedures. And this was only the symptom-oriented procedures. Of course, uh, there were also some changes uh, in the displays uh, by the time, and, 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 and so on and so on. And, and there are uh, uh, further uh, developments uh, in the man-machine interface uh, uh, design, uh, uh, which, which will uh, uh, go on uh, in the near future uh, at the plant to replace uh, some of the indicators to, to, to other uh, types of indicators, which are more visible uh, for the operator. So uh, that experiment, uh, that uh, set of experiments helped us very much to understand the, uh, those uh, uh, performance shaping factors uh, which are influencing uh, the uh, human behavior in the control room and uh, affecting with the reconstructions or modifications on these uh, uh, performance shaping factors with some new human factor engineering, we could lead to a much safer uh, 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 plant. Therefore, uh, this is a clear indication that uh, there is a huge uh, influence of the human factor engineering on the safety of the plant. Okay? 
Now, other questions? Yes. Yes. Well, this this depends on the uh, uh, plan design and and uh, uh, the decision. So, in some cases, uh, it is not even allowed uh, to to interfere with uh, with the automatic processes. Only in case something goes wrong. So, if you have to do a backup uh, uh, operation, like pump doesn't start, but I can uh, 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 try to start with uh, uh, only, only this, only this. Hmm? And, and but that's what I'm saying that it depends very much on the design and very much on on, on, on the decision so yeah so so uh, in most of the cases it is not allowed to to, to interfere you you don't have to interfere with the automatic if if you are not needed there uh, because you may make introduce a mistake okay uh, unless uh, it is clearly uh, uh, written down that uh, in such case uh, uh, where the clear indication shows uh, what is the situation and, the, and it is clear what you have to do, then uh, uh, without any thinking, you have to follow that and then do it. So uh, basically, that's the, that's the answer to that. That's that's correct. So uh, you will have a, uh, you, you may have the uh, solution in the very first moment because you know, but but let 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 give time to the automatic actions to to to, to go on, because uh, in 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 uh, uh, how to say lucky situation, the the automatic actions will do their work uh, uh, and then will will go to to a moment when you already can start uh, your normal operational tasks. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, we probably will have some, some time uh, at the end of the day uh, for further discussions. I, I, I believe this is an interesting topic and we can, we can spend uh, 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 many, uh, well, I mean, a long time with, uh, with discussion it. So let's, let's go to the, to the other presentation, okay? And, and then uh, we'll decide uh, later uh, at the end of the day uh, uh, what uh, uh, discussion we will perform. Okay, human factors. This is something uh, shorter, uh, which 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 allows me to 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 finish it by by uh, lunchtime, hopefully. So, human factors. We'll have uh, some introduction, uh, human performance, and human factors. Human factors engineering, human factors in the IAEA publications, and and one slide about the future plans of the uh, IAEA on uh, uh, the human factors. It will be interesting to to, to see. So uh, let's see some statistics uh, from the uh, IRS, IRS system. Do you know what IRS system is of, of, at the IAEA? This is the in, in incident reporting system. Uh, 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 widely used uh, in the in the world, and uh, in the incident uh, reporting system, about 48 percent of the events are affected by human errors. Uh, about 63 of these events are reported in the uh, IRS and having significant uh, human contributions happened during operation, and 37 during shutdown. So shutdown uh, is also a, a topic which uh, uh, has to be analyzed, uh, uh, and the shutdown uh, uh, human actions. Uh, there are 
interesting topics uh, uh, to be uh, 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 identified, uh, like uh, lots of contractors are coming in. In many plants, uh, the uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, refueling uh, and the maintenance uh, work is done by external organizations, external to the plant organizations. It may be utility organization, but uh, external to the plant. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, the influence of, of the external people to, uh, I mean, the external, uh, 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 the knowledge of the external people on the uh, human errors uh, done during shutdown are, uh, might be significant. <laughs> And also, the analysis of the events reported in the IRS shows that in the last 20 years, there has been a slight increase in the contribution of human errors to the events. Uh, from about uh, 45 uh, in the 80s, approximately 55 in the recent years. Now, it, it is an interesting question, why, it, why is it so? Is it because uh, we are uh, uh, doing more mistakes Yes? Okay. <laughs> okay, let, let's hope it is so. <laughs> yes, so that the, uh, the, the improvements in the technology uh, reduces the number of uh, events due to technological reasons. Uh, but uh, the humans are, are the same, so, so um, the, the number of human uh, errors may, be, may remain the same, but uh, as, a, as a contribution is, uh, is, is higher because the uh, contribution of the other is, 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 is decreasing. That, that, that's, that's very likely uh, the, the situation. And, and I, I would say uh, uh, with good willing that uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is the case, and not because we are more, how to say, uh, uh, not careful or something. It is, uh, well. Well, slight or, or not, uh, it, it depends on the definition, okay? So uh, I don't want to go into this okay, now, <laughs> detail. There, there is more reporting compared to before? Or maybe the let's, 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 let's guess it uh, uh, for yourself, and then you will decide what, uh, what is the cause. It is a question of opinion at the moment, because uh, we don't have the facts, okay? I don't have the facts how many from how many. Uh, I, I have only, only the uh, contributions. So uh, we can, we can uh, talk about it, and, and then we will not convince each other. So let's hope that this is due to uh, the fact what uh, uh, he, he said with the uh, improvement of the technology. Okay. Now, uh, human performance. What is human performance? I, I, I would like to. Uh, 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 show uh, what are the uh, so so we were talking about human performance in the human reliability uh, analysis. We try to analyze the human uh, performance, which is mental and physical capability of the person, the reliability of the person, the effectiveness of the person, plus the same for the team. So uh, if we are uh, we're talking about the, the the team performance, then. Uh, I mean, as, as a, as a uh, control room crew, then uh, we uh, consider the team as well. There are many factors influencing the human performance in a complex system, where the environment where the person works, yes, that's definitely, it, it is an influencing factor. The equipment interface and functionality, uh, the design of processes and procedures, and the organization of the work. So. Uh, there should be a program at the plant to minimize the potential for human error by addressing and managing factors that may influence the human performance. And this is the uh, objective of the uh, uh, human factor engineering, basically. We are doing it to reduce the uh, potential for human errors. Okay? Now, let have, let, let's have some, some, some definitions. Uh, human factors in the nuclear facility are factors that influence human performance as it relates to, uh, to the safety of a nuclear facility or activity uh, through the life cycle of the facility, sometimes interpreted together uh, with organizational factors. So 
human factors and organizational factors, they are uh, treated uh, in, in many uh, literature together. <clears throat> the human factors engineering is engineering uh, in which factors that could influence uh, human performance are taken into account. Okay? So well, these are relatively uh, simple uh, 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 definitions uh, and uh, uh, we uh, have uh, the, this IAEA uh, safety guide format and content of the safety analysis report for nuclear power plants requires uh, some uh, uh, section to be devoted to the uh, human factor engineering. So, uh, which, which means the, this uh, section on human factor engineering should demonstrate that human factors engineering and human machine interface issues have been adequately taken into consideration in the development of the design in order to facilitate the interaction between the operating personnel and the plant. This should be valid for all operational states and accident conditions and for all plant locations where such interactions are anticipated. So uh, there, has, there, there has to be uh, a section in the safety analysis report which demonstrates that the human factors were taken into account in order to reduce the probability of the human errors uh, in whichever uh, areas of the plant operation. Uh, further on, uh, uh, it, it says that uh, this section should include the description of the principles of human factors engineering used for taking into account for all factors shaping uh, human performance or factors shaping human per performance that may have an impact on the reliability of the operator's performance. The design specific, des uh, the, the specific design features of uh, systems and equipment are intended to promote successful operator actions uh, should be considered in the chapter of the safety analysis report uh, on the plant system description and design conformance. So, uh, I guess uh, you know uh, the structure of the uh, safety analysis report. Uh, there must be, uh, I, I, will, I will probably uh, uh, touch it uh, during the uh, presentation on uh, the uh, uh, periodic safety review, uh, but uh, I want to say that uh, uh, human factors, human factor engineering, uh, has a special section, but all the uh, technical areas, the description of the technical areas has to uh, contain some uh, uh, subsection on the human factor engineering related to the specific uh, design features of the uh, uh, specific system or specific technological uh, uh, element. Okay. So uh, other uh, human factor engineering uh, requirements are specified at the discussion of the specific uh, safety analysis report uh, uh, requirements. So uh, these two, what I uh, mentioned, uh, are uh, uh, explicitly uh, uh, requiring a discussion on the human factor engineering. And on the top of it, there are others which uh, uh, are related to specific description of the uh, specific systems. What are the elements of the human factor engineering? First of all, uh, this uh, list of uh, uh, human factor engineering elements are taken uh, from the uh, USNRC requirements on uh, I, I guess it is uh, uh, NUREG uh, 0800 or something like that. I, I don't, don't exactly remember, uh, which specifies uh, all the uh, uh, requirements regarding the human factors engineering and uh, to be included in the uh, safety analysis report. And uh, funnily, uh, uh, these elements are going to be repeated by uh, the uh, upcoming uh, safety guide uh, in 2018 uh, in the uh, IAEA uh, safety guide, but I, I will tell you uh, uh, later. So, uh, 
first the human factor and engineering program objectives and scope, which will uh, discuss the uh, general uh, program objectives and scope, the team and the organization. There must be a team and organization who deals with uh, or responsibilities uh, 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 distributed regarding the human factor engineering. Then the uh, human factor engineering process and procedures and issue tracking. This is an important uh, uh, topic. Issue tracking. How uh, do I uh, identify human factor engineering issues and how uh, uh, do I solve it and how uh, the results of the solution uh, are, uh, uh, can, can be shown. So uh, this is, this is issue, I issue tracking, that's it. And uh, uh, the technical program itself, okay? So this is the first uh, uh, element. Second, the review of uh, nuclear power plant operating experience. The operating experience uh, uh, always gives uh, uh, very positive uh, uh, influence on, uh, on, on the uh, uh, safety, whatever uh, area we are talking about. And this is the same with the uh, human factors engineering. So operating experience review to identify human factor engineering related uh, safety issues. Well, something happened at the other plant, not, not in my plant. But, uh, and it, it was due to, to, to wrong indication uh, uh, in the control room. Of course, I'm checking if, if, if the same indication is the same or, or not in my, my plant. So I will use uh, uh, this information, the operating experience information uh, from, uh, uh, from the uh, uh, other participants in the uh, industry. <clears throat> Then the uh, functional requirement analysis and function allocation, where we are allocating functions to human and system resources to take advantage of human strengths and avoiding human limitations. What does it mean? There are functions which has to be performed by the human, and there are functions that uh, 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 has to be performed by, by the uh, technological systems. So I have clearly defined what are those uh, functions. And when I'm designing uh, the system, I'm trying to design on, on a way which will help me to uh, uh, take advantage from the uh, uh, smartness of the uh, uh, human, OK? And uh, uh, which will not disable the human to do something, OK? So there are, there are lots of uh, aspects to be taken into account, but the functional requirements will uh, define those. OK. Uh, task analysis. The task analysis is to identify specific tasks that are needed uh, for human uh, accomplishment and their information, control, and task support requirements to select the representative and important operations, maintenance and test and inspection and surveillance tasks specific to a range of operating modes. These are already uh, uh, the functions which I allocated to human. Now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, 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 trying to uh, analyze those tasks uh, which I allocated to uh, human in order uh, to uh, identify those issues which may influence the uh, human errors during uh, execution of these tasks. And to identify the risk important uh, human actions, including the monitoring and backup of automatic actions using uh, the probabilistic safety analysis or human reliability analysis. So I'm, if I'm lucky, I have the human reliability analysis. I have the results of the human reliability analysis. Therefore, uh, this, this can be included in the task analysis. Uh, uh, the results can be included in the task analysis. Now, staffing and qualifications. Yes, staffing and qualifications. First of all, <laughs> staffing, yeah? How many people uh, do I want uh, to work at my nuclear power plant? Yes? Well, of course, uh, that many, uh, as many needed, so uh, uh, definitely. But 
it is it is so sensitive to 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 to, to many factors that I don't know I don't know. So in a in a in a, uh, a country where the uh, labor costs are very high, definitely the trial of the management is to reduce the stuff. Yes, and they are trying to reduce to the minimum required minimum required number. So in some cases they fail because uh, 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 they uh, reach the point where a person cannot be replaceable. And if he is ill, then some, something uh, is, 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 is not good in the, uh, at the plant because uh, he is missing. So uh, I'm not saying that uh, for every post there must be two persons or, 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 or so, but uh, one has to understand, the management has to understand that uh, uh, this is not a, 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 a just a game. It is influencing the safety. So. Uh, the uh, operating staff with the uh, operating crews, uh, there must definitely be a, a reserve uh, a control room staff or uh, people who can be called uh, from their home uh, to replace somebody if, if it is needed. It is an extremely important uh, 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 issue in the uh, plant management. So, staffing. The qualification, of course, it is uh, uh, already related to, to, to this because we, we may need uh, uh, highly qualified uh, 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 people. Sometimes uh, the uh, higher management, technical management at the plant uh, have the uh, license for uh, shift supervisor post or for uh, 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 reactor operator post. And, and they can replace uh, uh, the people, the missing people. So uh, we have to analyze the requirements for the number and the qualifications of the personnel satisfying task requirements and the applicable regulatory requirements. The number and qualifications of personnel for the full range of plant conditions and tasks, including operational, normal, abnormal, and emergency opera uh, operational uh, uh, regions, and maintenance and testing, including surveillance testing. And uh, uh, if, if we come back uh, to the refueling peri period, uh, uh, the utility may decide that uh, uh, if they have uh, several nuclear power plants, they are uh, keeping only one organization uh, uh, which serves for the uh, uh, maintenance task uh, uh, of, of the different uh, nuclear power plants. In uh, uh, cases when the nuclear power plants are remote, in, 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 a, in a remote distance from, from each other, uh, several uh, uh, hundred uh, kilometers or even more, uh, there might be a decision to, to uh, keep uh, uh, that personnel on the site uh, uh, permanently. Also, uh, in the case, uh, we, we made the decision at, at Paksh uh, that uh, uh, to produce the spare part, we established manufacturing capabilities at the plant. They were sitting at the, at, at the, at the site, uh, uh, highly qualified people, with, uh, with very good tools and waiting for the uh, moment when uh, they had to uh, 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 manufacture a spare part, spare part because manufacturing the spare part, the qualified spare part was shorter in time than to order it from I don't know which uh, 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 supplier uh, somewhere else in, in Russia or, or in, uh, elsewhere in the world because it, took, it, it takes uh, maybe several months, and if, it is, uh, if this uh, uh, equipment uh, is uh, uh, immediately needed, or not immediately, but uh, doesn't allow, uh, the, the unavailability doesn't allow the continued operation, then you have to shut down the unit till the uh, uh, spare part doesn't come. And uh, 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 after the first time, we realized that it can be a problem. We decided to, uh, to keep the, this stuff on the uh, plant site. It was expensive. 
Yes, it was expensive. Uh, someone can say that uh, uh, this is this is some some luxury, uh, uh, expensive uh, 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 attitude. Uh, it may be so, but uh, 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 it could be shown by the experience uh, of the operation uh, that uh, if this uh, organization uh, did not exist, then we were, we we have been uh, losing uh, that many production or that much production, uh, uh, which probably would be uh, uh, much uh, larger uh, losses than what we lost with keeping such organization at the plant. Again, management of the uh, staff, yes? Very important, and, and, and f uh, from the point of view of the reliability of the operations, I mean reliability of the production and reliability of the uh, safety systems of the plant, it is uh, uh, very important. Now, human reliability analysis, uh, uh, I, I was talking about uh, it uh, almost two hours, so I'm not uh, uh, touching it. Uh, it, 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 it. It just wants to say that we have to use the results in the uh, uh, human factor engineering process, and we are using it. And then uh, human system interface uh, design, HSI design, this is, this is how it calls. Uh, uh, this process uh, and the sc scope should be uh, uh, included, including the translation of uh, functions and task requirements into the detailed design of alarms, displays, controls, and other aspects of the uh, human system interface uh, through the systematic application of uh, human factors engineering principles and criteria, which was mentioned by Alec. Yes, this, this is what we are talking about. So. Procedure development. I told you, the procedures, especially the emergency procedures, uh, the structure and the uh, type of the emergency procedures uh, uh, will be a very significant uh, contributor to safety. Uh, if something is wrong in the procedures, just imagine, something is wrong in the procedures, then there it introduces a systematic error, systematic human error in the execution of uh, uh, some uh, 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 procedure. And it may cause lots of problems at the end. So unfortunately, uh, there are no perfect procedures. But uh, uh, the usage of uh, the procedures uh, uh, will show me where to uh, improve. I have nice uh, uh, opportunity uh, to test those procedures and to uh, 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 improve the procedures uh, based on the results of my uh, uh, simulated tra training exercises. Because that is the place where the uh, staff has to uh, uh, practice the uh, exercises using the, the, the uh, actual procedures. So, development of the procedures that are technically accurate, technically accurate procedures should be uh, and com comprehensive, explicit, easy to use, and validated. Now, how to validate, that's a different story. Again, validating, we can use uh, 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 the uh, simulator uh, for validating the procedures. Uh, we can use the uh, 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 deterministic safety analysis uh, uh, to uh, uh, validate the procedures, and we can use the probabilistic safety analysis to uh, validate the procedures. Now, we are validating a procedure using an analysis. It's, it's interesting, not uh, using uh, the real cases. Uh, real cases, fortunately, uh, don't happen very frequently. Therefore, uh, very, very, I mean, I mean, hopefully, there will not be need for real uh, usage of those procedures. But uh, in, in case it is needed, uh, we have to be sure that uh, uh, the procedure is, is uh, good enough uh, uh, to help the uh, operators to uh, uh, handle the situation. So we have to uh, develop uh, generic technical guidelines uh, uh, for the emergency uh, uh, operating procedures. Plant and system operations, including startup, power, and shutdown operations, usually we have. Those are 
operating instructions, yes? Or, or I don't know, uh, uh, in, in different uh, plants, the, the structure of these procedures is, is different. There are uh, uh, procedures which are obligatory, and there are uh, procedures which act like guidelines, rather guidelines, not, not necessarily obligatory procedures. Uh, in the old plants, uh, the so-called severe management uh, accident guidelines, the severe accident management uh, uh, guidelines, uh, the, these uh, SMGs, they are guidelines, they are not procedures. Okay? Legally, they are guidelines. Uh, while the uh, uh, emergency operating procedure is a procedure which is obligatory to, followed, uh, to be followed by the operator. So uh, uh, these two uh, should be somehow uh, distinguished. Mostly all the other uh, uh, procedures, which are called procedures or instructions, are obligatory to the uh, operating staff, okay? <clears throat> Legally op uh, uh, obligatory, which means uh, 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 this is their responsibility to follow exactly uh, uh, what is written down. Test and maintenance procedures. Definitely, uh, there must be a, a prescribed uh, uh, a flow of the uh, test and maintenance. Uh, abnormal and emergency operations. Abnormal is, is something new. Sometimes, well, in, in the early times, uh, there was no abnormal operating procedures. Abnops are those which, uh, uh, which are handling uh, the abnormal uh, events. These are not operational events, but not incidents. So some, something in between, some deviation from the, uh, uh, abno uh, the, the normal operation. Okay? We have normal operational, abnormal operational, and then comes the uh, incident, uh, which is the emergency operating procedures. So, uh, uh, and then comes uh, later, uh, during the severe accident, we have the uh, severe accident management guidelines. Okay. And uh, uh, accident management guidelines and alarm response. How do I uh, react on an alarm? Uh, this, this must be uh, uh, also controlled by procedure. So what, what shall I do when, when uh, that alarm uh, switches on? Yeah. So procedures, as I said, uh, clearly uh, demonstrated the good effect of, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, uh, symptom-oriented procedures. Therefore, uh, the, the good effect is clearly uh, demonstrated by our experiments. Uh, therefore, it, uh, it is clear that uh, the quality of these procedures are very much influencing the safety. Okay. Now, uh, training program, uh, similar to the uh, uh, operating, uh, I mean, the, for the, uh, to the procedures. The, the training program uh, is something which uh, uh, we had to uh, 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 develop a systematic approach uh, for the development of the uh, 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 per personal training. Well, uh, uh, this is uh, to understand and to identify uh, which level of organization and which, which posts uh, need what kind of uh, uh, training. And on the other hand, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, we have to know what is uh, uh, required by the regulatory body, uh, what is not required, what uh, posts and what uh, training is uh, license-related training and what is not non-licensed uh, related training. Then a full range of plant conditions uh, uh, should be uh, trained, definitely. Specific operational activities, uh, full range of plant functions and systems, including those may, uh, that may be different from those in the uh, predecessor plants, or, or those which, uh, which are new at the plant because there are modifications at the plant, therefore, uh, uh, the new systems uh, uh, operation should also be trained. Uh, full range of relevant uh, 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 human system interfaces, and so on and so on. 
Now, uh, uh, the best place uh, for this is again uh, the uh, simulator training. Uh, the full scope uh, uh, control room simulator is already a requirement for the new nuclear power plants. For when we are building a new nuclear power plant, definitely uh, on the site uh, there must be a, a full scope uh, a control room simulator uh, to uh, help uh, uh, this training program. And the uh, uh, verification and validation of the uh, human uh, factor engineering results, uh, the activities to com confirm that the uh, human system interface uh, design conforms uh, to the human factor engineering uh, design principles and that it enables plant personnel uh, to successfully perform their task to achieve plant safety and other operational goals. Uh, goals. So uh, we have to check uh, if, 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 if it works and uh, we have to uh, uh, demonstrate that uh, the uh, uh, human factor engineering principles are fulfilled and the uh, operational uh, and other uh, goals are uh, 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 supported by the human factor engineering. So basically, oh no, uh, there, there are some others, yeah. Human performance monitoring. We have to de uh, 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 develop a human performance monitoring strategy for determining that no significant safety degradation occurs because of any changes that are made in the plant. So if I made uh, some change or some modification at the plant, it should not uh, uh, affect uh, the human performance such that would degrade the safety. Criteria uh, to be considered. Design can be effectively used by personnel including within the control room and between the control room and local control systems and local cent uh, support centers. Changes made to the uh, human system interfaces, procedures and training do not have adverse effect on the personal performance. So I'm not uh, uh, installing something in the uh, control room which, is, uh, which will mis uh, mislead the operator decision. Okay, so uh, he used to, to, to that kind of uh, uh, indicator or, or uh, that kind of instrument, and then I put a, a digital uh, uh, instrumentation, a dig digital instrument there, uh, which writes down the uh, uh, value. Uh, it may be, it, it may have a good effect. It may have a, a, a adverse effect, which, it, uh, which is unfortunately. Uh, 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 it is not uh, avoidable. We try to uh, modernize uh, the uh, control room and try to introduce some uh, new type of uh, uh, measurement uh, uh, instruments in the control room. Unfortunately, uh, at least half of the crews don't like the idea. Everybody knows that uh, the, the present is not perfect they would like to have something better. But when you appear with, 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 with something uh, new, then they say, no, 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 uh, the old is, uh, we are happy with the old. <laughs> Immediately, it, 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 it will be said. So this is difficult to, to, to uh, uh, assess uh, what, is, uh, uh, what, what, will, what will have a positive effect or what will have uh, uh, overall negative effect. Uh, uh, then the human action can be accomplished within the established uh, time and performance criteria. So uh, this is also a criteria. The acceptable uh, level of performance established during the integrated system validation is maintained, and so on and so on. So there are lots of uh, uh, things which uh, uh, to be uh, considered when we are uh, uh, monitoring uh, the uh, human performance and we want to make some change uh, in the existing. It is very sensitive to uh, any, any changes, therefore uh, uh, the, uh, it is worthwhile to uh, uh, analyze it in details. Now, uh, the management systems and ele uh, elements of uh, human factors programs, we have a, a, a quality assurance and management system requirements. Uh, which uh, covers uh, uh, organizational aspects, uh, training, uh, safety culture, human performance, 
communication, management and organizational changes. And uh, uh, of course, this, uh, 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 the regulations usually contain references to specific uh, QA management systems like uh, ISO or, or the uh, GSR3 uh, uh, IAEA uh, the standard, uh, National and Industry Quality Assurance uh, uh, Guide, and so on and so on. Uh, the human factor program elements uh, are contained in the regulations in more general terms. Usually, uh, these are somewhat, somewhat spread uh, uh, all over the regulations. So it is difficult to, 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 to get uh, 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 all the uh, human factor engineering uh, requirements to, to one place because uh, they are contained by, by uh, 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 many parts of the regulation. So, uh, uh, like, like the sufficient number of qualified personnel or fitness for duty and so on, they are somewhere uh, discussed in the regulation, but not at the one place in, uh, uh, where we are discussing the uh, human factor uh, engineering questions. Now, human factors in the IEA publications, we are getting close to the end, so uh, I, I will... Uh, uh, well, I will go through uh, very quickly. Consideration of human uh, factors program elements are included in the uh, legally binding uh, instruments like the Convention on Nuclear Safety. Then the IEA safety standards and other IAEA publications. Requirements are specific to the stage of the lifetime of the uh, facility. So uh, uh, some of them uh, are uh, discussing uh, the requirements on the, at, at the uh, during the construction and uh, commissioning time, uh, uh, the others are for the operation, the, uh, uh, all others are uh, uh, for decommissioning and so on and so on. Uh, the safety of nuclear power plants, the design, the SSR uh, 2 slash 1, uh, uh, it was uh, uh, discussed uh, many times, but has the requirement 32 design for op uh, optimal operator performance, which says systematic consideration of human factors, including the human machine interface, shall be included at an early stage in the design process for a nuclear power plant and shall be continued throughout the entire de design process. So, uh, well, this is uh, easy to understand, but uh, how to perform, that's a different question. Okay, now uh, it... Uh, 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 requires the minimum number of operating personnel required to perform all the simultaneous operations necessary to bring the plant into safe state, involvement of the operating personnel in the design process conducted by the design organization. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good uh, uh, requirement, but uh, how to do it? It, it, it is difficult because uh, in the design process, especially uh, 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 for a new nuclear power plant where uh, we don't have uh, operating personnel, that's, that's, that's something difficult. Okay? So uh, whatever it says, I, I simply uh, cannot uh, fully imagine how it uh, can be performed. The plant layout and the equipment layout and procedures and the human machine interface. Uh, so these are the uh, elements. Uh, then the necessity of, uh, necessity, uh, necessary information to personnel, available time uh, uh, for useful human actions, and so on and so on. And at the end, uh, it says uh, uh, verification and valid validation uh, uh, using the uh, uh, simulator. So uh, this is what the uh, 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 SSR uh, 2.1 contains uh, regarding the uh, uh, human factor engineering. Now, about the future plans. Don't ask me, because you could see all of these elements, yes? Uh, we, we were discussing all of these elements, and uh, uh, this, uh, 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 this is the, uh, the topics of the uh, later coming uh, safety guide on the uh, uh, human factors engineering in nuclear power plants. This is the uh, title, and uh, uh, there is a, a document uh, uh, on the internet you can uh, uh, look for, uh, which uh, describes uh, uh, what are those uh, elements which will be discussed in this uh, uh, safety guide. 
It is an upcoming safety guide in 2018. And actually, these uh, elements are identical to those uh, which we were discussing earlier, which are coming uh, from the NUREG uh, 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 guide on uh, the content of uh, safety analysis reports. Okay, so basically, this was the human factors uh, what uh, uh, are influencing the human performance. And the human factor engineering, as you can see, has a lot of uh, uh, different uh, requirements, uh, which uh, are uh, mostly spread uh, and mostly distributed uh, to uh, those uh, design uh, functions uh, uh, to, to uh, specific uh, uh, safety-related uh, system and uh, safety-related uh, uh, aspects uh, design. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> now, <clears throat> if you have any questions, or, or we can wait till uh, uh, the uh, later discussion. You are hungry, I believe, so, uh, uh, and we are already five minutes in the uh, lunch time, though uh, that uh, watch, I guess, is, is a bit ahead, and uh, we must be at in at time. Okay. Then thank you for the uh, attention. Uh, we'll meet at two o'clock.